Okay, so next to the Mediterranean area um, is the Broadway area and they design it to be like the 1900s in New York City. So here's McDuck's uh, department store and I just thought it was really cool how the Vientos is designed of that period and even the garbage can, they don't miss a detail. Because New York City keep our city clean municipal sanit sanitation district <laughs> is not your regular garbage can. There's details and everything. So we'll go into this area now and walk around. Okay, so this area that we're going into now, it's uh, referred to as the American Waterfront. And they designed it to look like a New England fishing village. This section has six attractions, like six rides, two shows, six shops, and 13 restaurants. This is one of them. This is the Broadway Musical Theatre and this is where the uh, show would take place. So there's a show time at, uh, the last show is at 5.10. Broadway Music Theatre. People used to line up out here, like, see all these lines? That's where the lines would be to go inside. I guess it's too early to line up, <laughs> so there's no one lining up. Let's head over to the waterfront park. Um, that's where they have this water feature that, that lets the kids run through and play in the water. So what you see here is what's called the Disney Sea Electric Wheel Railway and this uh, electric train will take you to a different part of the park, like to Port Discovery, another section of the park, which is really cool. Um, because the park's really big, so if you get tired of walking um, and you want to make it out to the front of the park quickly, you can like go to Port Discovery and take this uh, train and come to the front of the park. Okay, so let's talk about this restaurant that we're coming up on. It's called Restaurant Sakura. And you might think it's really strange that there's a Japanese restaurant um, in the middle of an American waterfront harbor. But it's actually the story behind it is that this restaurant is where uh, Japanese immigrants in New York would gather. And that this uh, restaurant is owned by a Japanese immigrant. And the restaurant is in a former fish market. Opening 
date 1911. So yeah, the period is like 19. Okay, so what you see right now is what's called the Steamboat Mickeys and um, they're supposed to be stores that are open and selling like apparels and souvenirs but because of COVID-19, um, this area is closed. Drawing Mickey and Minnie with a broom and with water. That is so talented. That is so amazing. Freehand. That beeping that you hear right now, that's the steamer line attraction. Um, that's that boat right there. And if you get on, you can go around the area. Look, we see the electric train again. It's taking people to uh, Port Discovery. And here's the train coming back from Port Discovery. And unfortunately, the All-American Hot Dog Stand is not in service. The hot dog stand's not open. Oh, look, you can ride one of these like old 
Kuku, Kuruma. So this attraction is known as the Big City Vehicles and you can ride a classic vehicle around the American waterfront. Oh, so this is where you ride that uh, electric train. Um, so I thought these posters were really cool. They, they really give me the feeling of being in that period of the uh, 1900s in New York City. Okay, that's it. I think that's all for this uh, Broadway, New York City, 1900s uh, area. Up next, we'll go into Toy Story, Toy, bleh, Toy Storyville area. So see you guys in the next video.